Okay, Jason Moomal, JM on the fly. And we're going to do a little bit of a different video. This is my JM stick caddis. This is something that I've been tying for quite a few years. I'm going to zoom in on that and show you what the deal is. But now I tie a different version. I want to show you that. Uh, basically, what we had tied before is this little guy right here. And that was tied on a really long hook. You know, so we would, uh, you know, start in the back and work our way up. And I would uh, cut up a bunch of feathers, all different kinds of dark feathers. And just cut the stems off and throw the stems away and just take them feathers. And we'd just uh, put them, apply them uh, to the back to create the stick. Uh, and we apply them uh, by dubbing. Just by squishing them together and on the thread and wrapping them around and creating this uh, stick case. I'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see what I'm talking about. Let me get in here and get zoomed in here. Okay, there we go. Now you can see that beautiful little stick caddis right there. And it is... Got a little pupa coming out of it, and pretty cool little deal. That's the that's the old version. This is the new version. So what we did was we did an extended body and a better hook deal. I also have a piece of lead in the back here. Uh, the old one was tied by wrapping some lead on the shank. This one I use an extended piece with a split shot, and I'm going to show you that. Uh, how to do that on device here and Basically with the foam in the front and the weight in the bottom this bounces down the crick with the caddis side up As it's going down the crick it kind of sits like kind of bounces down like this caddis up So that's kind of the way we want to present it to the fish as it's bouncing along the bottom Let me show you how we tie this going to take a pin Going to put that in device this is the tire extended body. I'm going to take a little Vaseline and we're just going to put that on the tip. And I do do this with almost all of my uh, extended bodies. A little bit of Vaseline on that. We're going to wrap, oh, let's wrap our thread on here. We'll cut that off. I'm going to take a piece of 40 pound fluorocarbon. Okay, 40 pound fluorocarbon or mono, it doesn't really matter. Going to heat a little ball on the tip. I'm going to take a number one split shot. I'm going to put that number one split shot on my little tool. And that I press against the counter and just open up the shot. Okay, we're going to take that little guy. Let's see if I can get my pliers here and show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to take my split shot, hold that with the pliers, and put that. Oh, there we go. Put the split shot on like that. And I'm just going to crimp the split shot up against the little burnt bead that I had. On the piece okay so if you could see that let me see what the heck we got going on there basically it's a split shot up against the bead and we're gonna lay that on top okay we're gonna lay that on and we're gonna wrap around a couple times cut this off we don't need all that hanging out we're gonna wrap front to a point right there I'm gonna do a quick whip finish To lock that thread on right there in the front now we're going to wrap this to the back just like that and we're going to do the same thing a little whip finish in the back finish this whole deal off beautiful now if you need to slide anything around you could do that right now slide this front a little bit do whatever you need to do now we need to cover that little bit of split shot. So again, taking our 
taking our dubbing mixture, which is a bunch of feathers, okay, we're just going to pull out some fibers here. We're going to lay these in to my side and then fold these extra feathers around to the camera side. And what we're going to do is put some top bottom all over the place and we're just going to try and cover that split shot okay so again wrapping it around different areas you can see how we're just slowly covering the split shot okay you can still see it in there pretty good we're just going to take a couple more fibers like that again just pick out some of the longer fibers like this and just tie them in and let's get that thing so it's pretty much covered okay so there you can see we pretty much hid the split shot in there okay I'm gonna take a little bit and this is another another little trick we're gonna just dub this this out now I'm gonna come straight through and grab some dubbing okay this dubbing is just basically clip feathers or some peacock in there. there's all kinds of stuff guinea and all the dark fibers that you that would make the stick part of the caddis and we're just gonna wrap that up go so far pull it back wrap over it so everything's kind of trailing back and you'll see that it look, starting to look really good like the, like just like the sticks you find in the creek grab another little batch like this and again same thing work your way forward let's tie that in and work that front just like that okay again you can fold it back a little bit and get that laying in there really nice just like that now I'm going to use a, a glue here. I'm going to actually whip finish this off. Okay, whip finish this off. Just like that. And then I'm going to use a UV glue. That's what I'm using now. Now I'll tell you what I always used before was like a Sally Hansen or a clear nail polish. And I found out that when if you make these a little bit more crunchy the fish don't let go when they're all when they're all soft feathers like that when the fish bites it it doesn't feel like the caddis that they've been picking up you want it to feel sticky you want it to feel uh it's going to be a little bit a little bit crunchy uh to the fish when he you know so it so it feels like sticks and then he doesn't spit it right away okay so again we whip finish that off we'll cut our thread out we will pull the piece forward a little bit so I'm not all on my vise. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that forward like that. And then I'm going to use this is a flexible UV glue. And uh, I like this stuff. Like I said, I always use nail polish before. And now we got all these products. Everybody has something new out there. And this is just a flexible UV, and you're just going to comb back the fibers and apply the UV glue, just like that. And again, the thing will just look sticky, just like you want a stick caddis. Okay? And again, just mashing those pieces together and making it look good. See, that looks like a beautiful looking stick caddis type of deal grab our light we could pinch a little bit of this together and hit it with the light again holding these fibers in place so they kind of lay back and just working that in just like that beautiful and you can probably see that thing starting to smoke a little bit as we cure this glue nice thing about this too is it's ready to go when you're ready so we're curing that we're going to simply take our pliers 
here we're going to pull that off I like to take a paper towel now while it's still a little tacky and just kind of roll that up into a paper towel just like that and you can see what we end up with our nice stick caddis shape let's hit that again and you create your little stick caddis just like we have and we have all kinds of different ones here dried ready to go and uh, that's all cured let's put a hook in here and get tie in this thing I'm, I'm using a regular size 10 uh, 94 840 Mustad we're gonna put that in the vise here next and again 94 840 Mustad hook let me adjust the vise and let me get some of that glue off the vise okay there we go again put our hook in the vise let's get our thread on here okay we're gonna write run that right to the back just like that we're going to put our extended body on okay this is the extended body one like we just made and we will tie that in just like that work at front get rid of the excess mono work our way to the front we're going to add our foam so basically what we do is we're just going to take a piece of foam and i prefer this tan color because it matches so well and i'm just going to cut out a little strip oh whatever approximately an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths and i'm going to tie that in just behind the eye of the hook so I end up with a little bump. We're going to come back, wrap over, wrap over, and try and keep, try and keep a little bit of air bubbles in there. So it, so this will float. So we got our lead in the back, and this will float. So the thing will ride with the eye up. We're going to come into our dubbing. Next thing we're going to do is take some white dubbing. Okay. And it doesn't matter what color white. They're, they're, most of these grubs here are like a, like a white uh, cream color. So some type of white cream dubbing. And that's pretty much what the caddis or uh, the stick caddis look like in my cricks. Which is pretty much like the pine and most of those surrounding areas. So I'm going to come up and wrap the back portion of that I'm gonna take a little bit more dubbing now okay twist that on there this is of course the sticky dubbing and let me back off on that so we can see what the heck's going on here okay that makes it a little bit more clear I'm gonna put a little bit more of the dubbing on here and just wrap that right behind and onto the grub okay there we go now we have all this coming up onto the grub or the, what would be the uh, caddis okay now we're going to continue the caddis by using dubbing and we're going to continue dubbing front okay let's get that wrapped up and I could get this a little bit more on there so you can see what I'm doing but basically we're going to continue The dubbing so that we have our pupa sticking out okay so there we go we got our pupa sticking out everything's looking good looks like we got a little nice little guy coming out of there uh, mine have a little darker head so I'm just gonna take this and just touch it real quick and just add a little bit of darkness to the head it's kind of a dark brown type of deal and then I'm gonna let my thread go underneath taking a small feather clip this little portion out we're going to fold down 
So you get something like that. We're going to lay this in and tie this in for little legs. Or little caddis legs. Okay? And if they look a little long, you could just pull on that and shorten them up a bit. Just like that. Snip out your stem. Whip finisher off. Just like that. And that is a JM new and improved stick caddis. Okay, so you got a beautiful looking stick caddis. You see these things in the creek all the time. In the spring especially, they're very high dominant. If you have an area that has uh, a lot of pine needles, simply just tie that baby out of, uh, here, I'll show you. Just tie that out of turkey feathers. Okay, so you got tip, these white tips on the end of the turkey. You can see what we did there where we wrapped it over, covering the, covering the, the same deal, covering the lead or the split shot. And creating the exact same thing and you'll find stuff like that you know the these insects are using whatever's around them if you have a lot of pine you'll get pine needly looking ones like this if you got a lot of sticks you'll get the regular stick caddis but that is it that's a JM uh, stick caddis and you got to use these things in, in the spring they're absolutely phenomenal and again with the way it's weighted it fishes perfect got the lead in the back, you got the foam in the front, so that thing's going to ride with the cat, bouncing off the bottom with the caddis head facing up. Fish will come right down and pound it. And again, it's a little bit, it's, it's an improvement over the long shank hook that we used to use um, because of hook set. Okay? They get this, they have all this leverage here to, to get off. Okay? The short, fatter hook it just seems to work a lot better. So that is the JM Stick Caddis. JM on the fly and I am out of here.